Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to 5TV1's continuing coverage of the 2017 Canadian Ball Hockey Association National Championships. Battle of the Atlantic Provinces here tonight. The host province, New Brunswick, in white, going to be tangling with the Newfoundland Black Horse Squad in black. Black Horse, the silver medalists from last year's event and one of the heavy favorites coming into this year's event. The host team from New Brunswick. Certainly would like to spoil that party for the Newfoundland crew here tonight. Most wanted in white. Down to the attack first. Ball put into Newfoundland territory. Here comes St. John. Jared Hicks moves it around the boards. That's going to be picked up by Chris Boyce. Boyce can't handle it away. Comes Newfoundland. Ball chipped up to the zone. Brad Yetman, a black horse. He's going to knock it down. Settles it down over the line. Finds Zach O'Brien. O'Brien for Marcus Power. Power. Cross re pass for Escott. Escott to O'Brien. O'Brien funnels one through. Power fighting along the side of the net. Fighting hard with Dave Crossman of the most wanted. Crossman moves the ball out to the side, but Escott is there to keep it in. Ball knocked out of midair by Cody Donahue on the fence. Power, one stick handle too many. Here comes Riley Kraft for the most wanted. Good opportunity here for New Brunswick. Shot right on. Scott Bray had to be spared there. Another big save by Bray. And New Brunswick, some great scoring chances here early on. Yetman under some pressure down low. Bradley Yetman moves it up. Finds a stick of Marcus Power. Power. Trying to get a pass out, Riley Kraft knocks that one down. Team New Brunswick already with a line change in. Some good pressure here on the squad from Newfoundland Labrador. Andrew Langan, he pressures down low. And Kevin Reed, Cody Donnie, he's gonna make a long pass. Looking to find Clark Bishop, turned over. Here comes New Brunswick. Here's a shot, that one's blocked. Bishop, out for Danik Martell. Martell's with Wicks, here's Bishop. Bishop to Wicks, Wicks shot right on, big save there by the New Brunswick goaltender, Troy Reardon. A big save there off the stick of Bishop. Bishop, Martell, and Wicks looking pretty good in this for their first foray into the New Brunswick zone, and Troy Reardon shuts the door for the hometown squad. A couple of good scoring chances both ways early on in this one with both teams. Face off is going to be to the left of Reardon. Nathan Knoll is going to step in for the face off for the Newfoundland squad. Now we're all set. Referee set to drop the ball. Ball to the line, kept in, now it does bounce out. Michael Dyke is there to pick it up for Black Horse. Ball gets knocked back in, Dyke has come, come back and retreats. Dyke, leave one up there for Danny Wicks. Wicks fighting for it along the board. Ball comes out for Martell. Martell couldn't get a stick on, it's gonna come back and Dyke will take it. Dyke for O'Keefe. Patrick O'Keefe, backhand pass, looking for Wicks. That pass is intercepted. Martell got caught up with his own man there. Nathan Knoll. Now Martell had it behind the net. Martell, long pass into the neutral zone. That's caught by the New Brunswick defender. New Brunswick, odd man rush here, shot right on. And Bray has to stop and knock that one down. No rebound. New Brunswick looking sharp with a counter attack. Good play there by the defenseman. Never got the number on the play, but it was a nice play to knock it down and set a counterattack quickly. Good crowd on hand for this one. The host province, these folks in St. John, out to support the home team here tonight. Face off is going to be to the right of Newfoundland goaltender Scott Bray. Ryan Langan going to step in for the face off for New Brunswick. From the draw, face off one by New Brunswick. There's a snapshot right on. Bray managed to get a glove on that one. New 
Brunswick giving chase back. Crossman, he's the first guy to get there. Moves it up the wall, but it's kept in momentarily by Connor Donahue. Donahue overturns the ball, and away comes New Brunswick. Here's Dave Crossman. Crossman finds a player in the middle of the floor. They're going to lob that ball up. Brandon Bussey coming back and picking it up for Black Horse. Bussey moves it out for Mason Reed. Reed finds Donahue. Here's Connor Donahue. Connor Donahue backhand pass for Reed. Reed couldn't pick that one up. Crossman spins away and comes out of trouble for New Brunswick. Cody Donnie steps up, makes a good steal there for the Black Horse. Donnie cross corner dump in, looking to get Kevin Reed coming off the bench. Ball comes back to the point. Stopped by Hedges, Thomas Hedges. Wrist shot from the point by Hedges. That's knocked down in front of the net by Crossman. Crossman has it. Now he's going to move it to safety to his defensive partner. But St. John under some pressure. Here's a turnover. Yetman steps in. Nathan Yetman shot. That was deflected, goes just wide. Danny Wicks has it down low. Here's Wicks now. Wicks steps around. He fires one. That one misses just wide on the side. Yetman steals it. Yetman gets it to Danny Wadden. Danny Wadden puts it down on the goal. And the goaltender is going to have to stop and hold on. Newfoundland team very, very quick off the ball. And that's something that the New Brunswick squad will have to be careful of here in this hockey game. Face off is going to be to the left of Troy Reardon. Reardon, an accomplished goaltender himself in ball hockey. Ball comes all the way back to the point. That's driven in by Bradley Yetman. Yetman shot bounces off a body. Down low for Escott. Escott couldn't get to it. St. John will have a chance to come away with it. Long lead pass by Riley Kraft. That was a really sweet feed there. Hit the player in full stride, putting the ball behind him off the boards. Escott. Looking to get the ball to Marcus Power. Instead goes the other side for Zach O'Brien. Here's O'Brien. Puts it down low for Escott. Escott couldn't get to it. Ball's going to get wrapped around the boards where Kraft will pick it up for New Brunswick. Riley Kraft. He moves it behind the net to safety. St. John looking to regroup here. Black Horse going back into a little 1-2 defensive system. No pressure on the ball. Ball up to the neutral zone finally. And now it is pressured by Patrick O'Keefe. Ball fired down the floor. That will be an icing call. Face-off will come back in Newfoundland territory. Be sure to join TV1 Scott Squires and CTV's Cyril Lunny on the sideline scoop each Monday at 8.40 a.m. Atlantic, 9.10 a.m. Newfoundland time. Get up to date on Bella Line 5 TV1's local sports coverage with Scott and Cyril. That's the sideline scoop Mondays only on CTV Morning Live Atlantic. So a little discussion between the officials on that last icing call, and they're going to drop it at center. Ball gets hammered down deep. No flooring on the play. O'Keefe will jump out for Newfoundland. Ball chipped up to the zone. Away come the Black Horse. Here's a shot right on. Nice save there by Reardon. Off the stick of Nathan Knoll. Another chance. Drive from the slot right on. Big drive there by Clark Bishop. And it's cleared down the floor. And Bishop got all of that one in the slot. This line of Bishop, Noel, and Martell might be one to watch. And there's not too many guys in the world, I think, can keep up with Danik Martell. But Coach Ian Moores might have found two there. Bishop. Stepping in for the draw. He's going to be escorted from the face-off circle. The most wanted will do it again and try to win this face-off. From the draw. St. John, chance to walk out with a can't control though. Martel down low. Tried to put it to Bishop. Bishop didn't expect that pass coming. Knocked out the boards. Michael Dyke, good pressure here by the veteran defenseman from Black Horse. Knocks it back down. Crossman, long lead pass for New Brunswick. Dave Crossman with some good patience there. And the ball gets hammered down the floor.
Face off is going to be in Newfoundland territory to the left of the goaltender, Scott Bray. Pretty good pace to this one so far. From the draw, Bossy. Backhand for Alex Powell. Ball gets the line, but not out. Kept in by Jared Fitzgerald of the Most Wanted. Good job by St. John, clogging up the passing lanes. Here's Bussy now. Bussy puts it up the boards for Reed. Kevin Reed looks to hit Connor Donahue in the neutral zone. Donahue couldn't get a stick on that one. That was Mason Reed. That's going to come back for an icing call again. St. John doing a good job of clogging up the passing lanes. Not much room for the Newfoundland runners to go. Face off, one by Donahue. Behind the net is Powell. Powell to Bussy. Bussy steps out of the zone. Long lead pass, looking to get it to Donahue. That one's knifed into St. John territory. Donahue fighting with Trent Savoie. Savoie loses it. Here's a shot off the boards from Reed. Kevin Reed's shot is right on. Goaltender keeps it out. Black Horse. Bussy steps up, keeps the ball alive for Team Newfoundland. Reed. Down low, Kevin Reed has his brother Mason in the corner with him. Mason Reed down low. Defenseman pinching up his Donahue. Cody Donahue spins, fires. That shot is blocked, and away come the most wanted. Ball's hammered down low. Scott Bray makes up outlet pass. And the Black Horse team, in the mix of a line change, almost caught the most wanted. Nathan Yetman chasing Logan Saunders down low. Logan Saunders. And Nathan Yetman, teammates last year for Team Canada over in Sheffield, England at the World Under-20 Championships. Opponents here today. Here comes Black Horse. Wadden's pass is picked off in the neutral zone. Yetman's got to step back out and get onside. St. John settling things down. They're going to come out under some pressure from Danny Wadden. Saunders. Outlet pass the other side to Brad Badger. Badger's going to put it in deep. Ball's chipped behind the net. Here's a chance out front. Shot right on. Bray is there. Closes the door. And a quick shot there from Andrew Langan. And he'll hold on for the faceoff. Twelve oh one Left to go here in period one. No score. Newfoundland and New Brunswick. Opening games for both squads at this year's 2017 Canadian Ball Hockey Association National Championship. Gray reaches up and grabs that one. That was an errant ball off a faceoff. That almost found its way to the back of the net. Scott Bray, sharpest attack here early on for the Newfoundland Black Horse, as well as his counterpart, Troy Reardon. Faceoff. One by the most wanted, Crossman. Ball for Escott, Escott couldn't get it. Zach O'Brien puts it back and O'Keefe falls down, can't hold on to that one. There's a drive, that one's gonna whistle wide, comes around the other way for Crossman. Crossman, big drive there, that one just missed on the wide side. St. John with some good pressure here. The most wanted, out to the slot, shoots! Bray with a huge save there! How did Scotty Bray stop that one? Point blank in the slot. And Riley Kraft is looking skyward after that shot. What a great play set up for the New Brunswick forward. And Scotty Bray, he might want to have a look and see if the RCMP is over his shoulder because you might call the cops on that. He was robbed. From the draw, Black Horse win the faceoff. Here's Power. Power. Looking to get it to O'Brien. O'Brien step around his defenseman. Zach O'Brien on the short side. He's upended. Ball just misses the short side of the net. New Brunswick take over behind their old goal. Here come the most wanted. Long pass in the neutral zone. That gets by the defenseman Powell. New Brunswick player alone in front of the net. Good job there, here's a shot. That one goes just over the top of the glass. Great play there by Chris Boyce. Buying some time and place for New Brunswick.
Face off to the left of Bray. Face off one by the Newfoundland squad. Ball lifted out to the neutral zone. It's going to bounce away. No, nothing there for New Brunswick. Newfoundland, a chance to get it again. Here's Bussey. Bussey, long lead pass for Martell. Martell throws one to the net. Looks to find Noel. Noel's down low fighting for the ball. Here's Nathan Noel. Nathan Noel looking to get it out front to Martell. Stepping in from the point was Cody Donahue. He's up and away comes New Brunswick on a two-on-one. Good defensive play there by Brandon Bussey to break that up. And we're going to have an offside call at the line. Bussey with a real nice play as they were off to the races. The St. John most wanted there. Odd man rush it was. Face off is just outside the Black Horse blue line. Fight for the ball right off the draw. Yetman for Martell. Martell gets across to Noel. Noel comes one on one on his man. Noel driving hard and that shoot scores! Noel, I believe, might have had the rebound just bounce off himself and go in. But it was a good, strong move he made on the side. And Nathan Noel has opened the scoring in this one for the Newfoundland Black Horse. So halfway point of this first period, Nathan Knoll with a strong move to the net. And that's a line change Coach Ian Morris is glad he didn't make. You can tell they were looking to the coach to make a line change just before that happened. But it did not happen and Newfoundland were fortunate to get a goal from it. St. John now, look to get back to the attack right away. Scott Fenwick fires it down deep. Black Horse defenseman O'Keefe for Dyke. Here's Dyke. Dyke stepping out to the neutral zone. He's going to put it back for O'Keefe. Patrick O'Keefe, long lead pass. That one's intercepted. O'Keefe picks it up again. He almost turned it over again. Yes, indeed, he did. Now O'Keefe trying to make up for the turnover. That's a comedy of errors there in the Newfoundland zone. Ball comes up the wall. Mason Reed trying to get it out. Does indeed get it to the neutral zone for Donahue. Donahue up over the line. Here's Connor Donahue. Connor Donahue going hard to the net. And the Black Horse players not afraid to put their head down and drive. Long pass back for the point for Bradley Yetman. Yetman can't hold on to that one. Ball's going to come all the way down the floor for the goaltender Bray. Yetman. Outlet pass. And that one's turned over by Hedges. There's a shot right on. Nice save by Bray. Joey Trenholm turned that one over the most inopportune time. Not Hedges. It was Trenholm. Here's Reed now. Kevin Reed on the back end. Puts it deep. Nathan Yetman coming down. He picks it up before it goes over the line for flooring. Yetman takes a bump down low. Yetman for his brother Bradley. Big shot there. That just missed off the side of the net. St. John under some pressure now, trying to move the ball along the boards. Kraft will pick it up. Riley Kraft under some pressure. Kraft spins away from it there. Here's Kraft being chased down by Danny Wadden. That ball is going to get fired down the line. Riley Kraft for a big man. He can get out of a tight space pretty easy. Good rush there by the New Brunswick forward. Make the comment about Scotty Bray probably should be arrested for theft on that save earlier. I'm looking out the window here. We see two police cars have just pulled in to watch the game here tonight. Maybe they're watching the telecast. Face off. Newfoundland territory won by Escott. Andrew Stewart trying to come up with it for New Brunswick. Ball gets moved out to Escott. Escott to Power. Power puts one to the net. Looking ahead. Zach O'Brien in stride. O'Brien out for Power. Power, named to the All-Star team in this event last year. Marcus Power just back from part of Beats a Czech Republic along with other Newfoundland players. Marcus Power, Jordan Escott, Patrick O'Keefe, Nathan Yetman, and Brad Yetman. All there representing 
both their province and their country. Here's a chance for the most wanted shoot, scores! Big shot off the stick of Tommy McHugh. And his one-time drive finds the back of the net. And the most wanted tie it up. Big shot there from McHugh. And Scott Bray never had a chance on that one. That was a bullet from McHugh's stick. Do it all over again now, face off at center. Here's Bishop, Clark Bishop. Out to the line looking for Noel. Noel can't hold on to it, ball gets put down behind the net. Gray is out to stop it. Hedges for Bishop, Bishop. Gonna put it back for Powell, Powell. Looking to get a pass to Noel. Icing going to be the call. Noel arguing with the official that the defenseman made a play on him and not the ball. So therefore, Noicing should be negated. And you know something? Noel's got a pretty good argument there. But the boss is the man with the stripes. And he decides where the faceoff will be. Most want him with a faceoff in the offensive zone. They're going to send Chris Boyce in to take this draw against Clark Bishop. Face off, won by the Black Horse. Ball settled around the wards. Martell couldn't get to it. Good battle down low. O'Keefe is going to go to the penalty box. We got the old penalty by the official outside. The official inside didn't think it was a hit, but the official outside does, and that's going to be a penalty. First power play of the game. Going to go against the Newfoundland Black Horse, New Brunswick. On the power play, 6.57 left to go here in period one. One to one, New Brunswick and Newfoundland. off one by Newfoundland Nathan Yetman penalty killing expert out there for the Black Horse Yetman very very tough to play against St. John New Brunswick calmly coolly going to move the ball up the floor they're going to lace it in down low Powell comes back he can't pick it up Riley Kraft is there for New Brunswick Crossman going to put it back to the point now for Johnny Jarvis Jarvis, the veteran, representing Canada and New Brunswick at many nationals and Canada at some worlds. Here's a chance out front. New Brunswick power play looking pretty good. Yetman, he takes a bump along the boards. Ball is going to get settled down. Troy Reardon comes out and tries to move it up for the most wanted. Good play there, and that allows Crossman to step up and settle things down. Crossman back for Saunders. Saunders. Moves it down low. There's a drive, whistles wide. Pretty good looking power play so far for the New Brunswick, the St. John most wanted. Here's Crossman, back for Saunders. Saunders works it down to the other side. Fake shot, kicks it down low. Kraft on the side of the net, couldn't get the pass back though. Ball's gonna come back out for Crossman. Crossman can't hold on to that pass. Gets it back to the line though, good job there by the veteran defenseman for New Brunswick, but eventually the ball is cleared down the floor. Donahue gives chase on Saunders. Donahue behind the net. Donahue's gonna come away with the ball. Connor Donahue, good four check here for Newfoundland Labrador. Puts it down for Kevin Reed, and yet another Team Canada player. Kevin Reed cycles it down, and Donahue's gonna give chase. Donahue gonna be first to the ball. Now Reed will take it. Reed. Knocks it out, it's gonna come back all the way down the floor. St. John, shot at the blue line, that one's turned over. Penley is over now, teams at even strength. Zach O'Brien, good defensive play there by Brad Bridger. Brad Badger, sorry, he breaks it up for New Brunswick. Bussy moves the ball up to the floor. Kevin Reed picks it up, here's Reed. Reed drops it out, nice pass back for Reed. Reed trying to get it 
for O'Brien. O'Brien took an elbow to the head there. Play continues. Ball dumped in. Good transition. Watch speed and pace to this game. Jordan Escott. He fights for possession along the ball. Gets it to Marcus Power. Power. Headman's it for O'Brien. O'Brien can't come away with it. Good play there by Badger. Badger trying to step around a couple of Newfoundland players, and he does so, puts it down deep. Here come the most wanted. There's a shot right on. That ball is going to get cleared down the floor. And Trent Savoie goes back, but he doesn't need to go all the way as flooring is the call. Face off will come back in Newfoundland territory. 1-1, 355. Left to go in this entertaining first period. Talk about the line changes here for New Brunswick. You should probably just call a timeout, guys. That'll get you your line change. 3.55 left to go here, period one. Still discussion on the bench. Face off. One by Newfoundland Labrador. Ball cleared out. Here's Nathan Noel. Noel. He comes down low. Noel takes a bump along the boards. Moves it down low for Bishop. Bishop. Back to the point for O'Keefe. Here's a shot deflected. Martell might have got a stick on that one. No, he's up and they're going to be a penalty. Newfoundland going to have an opportunity to go to the power play now. Holding is going to be the call with 3.32 left to go here in period one. And we'll get our first look at the Newfoundland Labrador power play. Gene Moore's got a few weapons at his disposal. So you can see how it's going to look. Jordan Escott going to move back to the point. He's going to play with Cody Donahue. And Zach O'Brien, Danik Martell, and Marcus Power up front. Ball comes back to the point for Donahue. Donahue is going to leave it for Martell. Martell down for Escott. Escott to Martell to Donahue. Donahue steps out around down low for O'Brien. Back for Donahue to Martell to Donahue. Donahue winds, fires, shot right on. And Reardon comes across and makes the save. New Brunswick with a couple of line changes there after 19 seconds of power play time. Coach didn't like what he saw out there right away. Brunswick's number 41, Scott Fenwick, coming down hard and aggressive on the PK. Escott moves it out for Martell. Here comes Martell. Danik Martell can flat out fly, folks. Back to the point for Escott. Escott is going to leave it for Martell. Martell, wide fires. That shot's right on. Not much of a screen there. Nothing happened in front of the net. No signs from the Black Horse bench that they're going to be changing. This is their probably going to be their number one power play unit. They are going to stick with it by the looks of things. Face off to the left of rear. 115 left to go in the power play. Chance for Crossman to get there. Crossman with a great effort to get the ball out. Good job there by the New Brunswick defenseman, Dave Crossman. Putting it down the floor. Escott comes back for it. Escott's going to bring it up the floor for the Newfoundland Labrador Black Horse. Escott stopped in his tracks. Fires one across. That'll gain the line as Marcus Power takes it and moves it back out. Power takes the pass from Escott. Escott. Puts it in for Zach O'Brien. O'Brien couldn't get a stick on that one. Ball gets sent down the floor one more time. Brunswick with another line change. Newfoundland not in any hurry to make a change at all. Escott down for Donahue. Donahue gains the line. Escott got to get out of Martell's way and get down low. Here's Martell. Martell to Escott. Escott down low for power. 
power. Backdoor feed for Donahue. That one was chipped aside. And that's a play those guys have made one time or another for sure. 17 seconds left in the power play. Faceoff will still be in the Brunswick territory. Face off, one by Team Newfoundland. Dyke for O'Keefe. O'Keefe, big drive on net there. Off the stick of Patrick O'Keefe. Reed, back for Dyke. Dyke walks to the middle, is going to put it down low for Mason Reed. Reed for Donahue. Donahue looking for something to open up, puts it down low for O'Keefe, not there. Penley's over, teams are at even strength. Here's Dyke. Big drive from the point, misses short side. Connor Donahue has it down low. Here's Donahue. Donahue trying to spin away from a check for Kevin Reed. Kevin Reed back for Dyke. Dyke to O'Keefe. O'Keefe down back for Reed. One time pass that was bouncing. Missed its mark to Mike Dyke. Dyke's going to fire it in over the line. Dyke's offside going to be the call. That's going to give the most wanted a free chance to clear the zone. And after a few minutes of pressure, St. John going to throw it in. Dangerous pass out front for Kraft. Kraft almost got a stick on that one. Riley Kraft spins, fires. Yetman now. He's engaged with a player over on the boards. And we've got a penalty coming up. A slashing call. And the most wanted. Do not want to play this game with Black Horse. You can't be in the box and expect to be the team like that. Thirty-six seconds remain in this first half. A slashing call in the box. Most wanted will be serving four minutes for that penalty. Chris Boyce gets tagged for the slash. From the draw, Escott. All up the floor for Martell. Here comes Martell. Martell loses the handle on the ball, but he chases it down to the corner. Martell for Donahue. Donahue looking to get it back to the point to Escott. Escott down for Martell. Martell rips one net, misses on the short side. Ten seconds left. Martell again. Down low. Ball is into the slot. That's going to do it. Only three seconds remain. That'll do it for the first period. After one period of play, the host province, the St. John Most Wanted from New Brunswick, won. The Newfoundland Labrador Black Horse won. We'll be back for the call the second period of this 2017 Canadian Ball Hockey Association National Championship.
play. As the most wanna gonna have to serve the remainder of that slashing penalty. Escott on the forehand, puts it down low. Backdoor feed, shoots, they score! And that one is gonna happen time and time again. Escott to power and power finds Cody Donahue coming in from the point. And the St. John team are playing a heck of a hockey game here. They've got to stay out of the penalty box to hang around. 16 seconds into the second period. It's Donahue from Power and Escott. On the power play, the Black Horse take a 2-1 lead. Teams at even strength now, but once again in ball hockey, the player has to serve his entire penalty. His team isn't penalized, but the player still has to serve the penalty. The New Brunswick coach having a word with the referee. I think he's asking him about the, the net possibly being knocked off before the goal was scored. And, hey, that's a good question to ask. I certainly don't blame him there. New Brunswick back to even strength. Now they're going to try to go back to work. Tom McHugh, the goal scorer for New Brunswick. He puts it down low behind the net for Kraft. Kraft. Going to try to make something happen, stepping out on the backhand. Riley Kraft missed it by that much. Faceoff is going to be outside the Newfoundland blue line. Kraft shot went straight over the glass, not hit off anything. Ball dumped in deep. Here's O'Keefe. O'Keefe for Dyke behind the net. Dyke got a run and catch up to that one. Chips it out to the line for O'Brien. O'Brien up over the line. O'Brien looking to drop it back for Escott. Couldn't do so. And away come the most wanted. Offsides there. As Riley Kraft went down. Play goes hard to the net, but offsides going to be the call. And O'Keefe having a little chat with Kraft about that. O'Keefe's got a smile on his face, so that means I know he's probably not going to impale him with his stick at any moment. Patrick normally does a smile at you before he does that. 19.03, still early. This is the longest first minute in the history of hockey, I believe, folks. 57 seconds gone in this first period only? My goodness, the clock must have started. Face off outside the line. Ball's knocked in, O'Keefe for Martell. Martell up for Bishop. Bishop is called on the offsides at the line. And referees, once again, they're going to bring it back. Face off. Contested in the neutral zone. Dyke going to shovel one over for O'Keefe. O'Keefe behind the net for Michael Dyke. Here comes Dyke. Dyke, a veteran of this Black Horse squad. Ball out to the line. Dyke turns it over, though. Way come to most wanted. Back in deep, but Bishop is back there to help out. Bishop now turns it over. Newfoundland squad, victim of the turnover. Backhand pass, and Scott Bray tracks that one down and holds on for the faceoff. That's a weird one. The referee is going to blow the play outside. Whistle was gone. Goalie had the net ball covered up. And the most wanted player knocked the net off its moorings. But the whistle was gone. I'm curious as why the play would go outside. But anyway, that's where it's going. Goaltender is fixing the net on its moorings down there now. Okay. Ball is outside and face off will be in front of the Black Horse bench. From the draw, St. John shout right on. Nice save by Bray there on the blocker. Tears it aside. Bossy. Chasing down Jaron Hicks. Hicks doing a good job on the boards, keeping it in for the most wanted. Here's a drive from the point. And Scott Bray is going to drop down and grab that one with the glove. I'm telling you, folks, this New Brunswick team's for real. 
they can play. They just need to stay out of the penalty box against these teams in the tournament. From the draw. Here's Donahue. Donnie chips it out. He's going to leave it down now for Brandon Bussey behind it. And Bussey steps out for the Blackhawks. Bussey to Alex Powell. Powell pass up the boards for Kevin Reed. Reed got some bad wood on that, but he gets it back. Reed out with his brother Mason Reed and Connor Donahue. Reed gains the zone now. Here's Kevin Reed. Kevin Reed lifts one down low for Donahue. Donahue leaves it for Mason Reed. Reed takes a little bump there. Play continues. Here's Donahue. Donahue, good defensive coverage here by New Brunswick. In particular, Jared Hicks. Ball is sent down the floor. No flooring is called. Going to be waved off. Alex Powell, long lead pass for Reed. Reed knifes it in. But no, he say he doesn't get a stick on it. That's going to be a flooring call. Face off will come all the way back to Newfoundland Labrador territory. The Black Horse lead by a score of 2-1 to one over New Brunswick. Opening game action this 2017 Canadian Ball Hockey Association National Championship from St. John, New Brunswick. Newfoundland, New Brunswick. Prime time matchup here this evening. From the draw, face off won cleanly by New Brunswick. Brad Badger elected to put it down behind the goal. Here's Watt, Watt chips one off the ball for Yetman. Looking for an icing call on the play. Wasn't going to get it. Wadden down for Yetman. Yetman spins out to the high slot. Looking to find Danny Wicks there. And the play comes about. So it was a big roar from the bench. The New Brunswick bench has been animated right from the get-go in this game. I'm sort of surprised the referees aren't a little bit more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Agitated, let's say. I know both teams made a pretty big roar there. Yeah, I, I can see it, folks. If, if this keeps up, I can certainly see a bench finder in the future in New Brunswick. They do not want to give Newfoundland any more power plays, that's for sure. Face off outside the Newfoundland line. Ball's going to come into New Brunswick territory. Crossman gets on his horse and gets back to get it. Crossman moves it for Pierce, Mackenzie Kerstead. Kerstead chips one up, good feed there. Away comes Matt Burns. Burns coming all the way down. Bray's going to come out and hold on to that one. Nice little breakout. Kerstead to Burns, and Burns with a scoring chance. Four the most wanted. But I tell you what, if the referees are getting paid by the whistle tonight, the Canadian Ball Hockey Association is going to be broke because there's been about 30 whistles here in the first three and a half minutes of this second period. Face off to the right of the Black Horse goaltender, Scott Bray. From the draw, O'Keefe, he's going to take it behind the net. O'Keefe has got Escott on the side. O'Keefe moves it for Escott. Escott lifts one into the neutral zone, looking to hit Zach O'Brien with a long stretch pass. That's not there. Escott picks the ball up. Escott back for power. Power to Escott. Escott the power. Power shot. Quick one. Nice save there by Reardon. Jordan Escott starting to come alive here for Newfoundland. There's a shot, they score! Marcus Power in the high slot gets the feed from O'Brien. And Power makes no mistake. Reardon with no chance on that one. And the Black Horse open up a two goal lead with 16.07 left to go. Good news for New Brunswick is that line of Power, Escott, and O'Brien going to leave the floor. But the bad news is here comes Bishop Nolan Martell. Oh. 
Trenholm. He moves it across for Dyke. Dyke trying to get it up for Trenholm. Trenholm steps out. Here come the Black Horse. It's Martell. Martell drops it for Noel. Noel behind the gal. Noel going to try to take himself to the other side. Here's Noel. Noel trying to spin away from check. He's there with Bishop. Bishop's going to take over. St. John in a flat out man to man defensive mode. Bishop down low for Noel. And Bishop running hard to the net just runs over to the Brunswick defender who got his way. I believe it was Chris Boyce, I'm not sure. Boyce trying to stay with him, just got in the way and he got plummeted. No penalty call on the play. Face off will be to the left of Troy Reardon. In goal for New Brunswick. Reed. Off the face off, Reed in a little trouble, moves it down low, but now Donahue's there to help out. Connor Donahue comes to the net. Donahue, he brings it in hard. Helped out there by Mason Reed now. We're gonna have a penalty here, not sure who it's going against. It's gonna be Black Horse by the looks of it. Yes sir, Black Horse for slashing. Mason Reed gonna get the gate. And New Brunswick going to get a chance to get back into this one with a four-minute power play with 15.05 left to go in the second. Big opportunity here for the boys in white. From the draw, most wanted. Johnny Jarvis on the power play. He's the guy they're gonna look the quarterback up top. Jarvis now kicks it down low for Tom McHugh. McHugh was the goal scorer for New Brunswick earlier in this game. As we know one thing about Mr. McHugh, he can shoot. Up for Crossman. Crossman now looking for Jarvis to switch sides with him. Crossman directing traffic down for McHugh. McHugh shot right on. And Bray's there to make the save. Nathan Yetman comes away with it for the Black Horse. Yetman runs into a solid hip from Crossman there. Black Horse bench wasn't happy that Crossman just pulled up in front of Yetman like that. Here's McHugh. McHugh fires it down around the boards. Ball comes all the way out to the other side. Crossman is there for the most wanted. Here's Crossman now. Crossman looking to switch sides with... Jarvis again. Crossman to Jarvis. Back for Crossman. Crossman to Jarvis. They're going to like to see McHugh have this shot for sure. Here's Jarvis. Sorry that was Crossman with the big shot. O'Keefe trying to send Clark Bishop away in all alone. McHugh back there first. Bishop and Noel out there together on a penalty kill. A little bit of speed up front for the Black Horse. Noel takes a knock from Crossman. Still keeps it in though. Nathan Noel. Great work on the penalty kill for the Newfoundland Black Horse. Here comes Crossman now. Crossman gently lifts it into the zone. Matt Morehouse on it hard for St. John. Can't get to it though as Brad Yetman's there to clear it down the floor for the Black Horse. Logan Saunders. Lug. Knife's went up to the neutral zone. Going to be knifed in by Matt Burns. Ball goes behind the net. Chance for Newfoundland to come away with it, and they do. Here comes Kevin Reed. Might have a two-on-one developing. Kevin Reed with Connor Donahue. Reed cross for Donahue. Donahue couldn't knock down that bouncing ball. The Brunswick player slides into the goal, knocks the net off its moorings. 12.48 left to go in period two. Team New Brunswick on the power play, but find themselves down by a score of 3-1. to one. From 
the draw. Most wanted, Jarvis up for Crossman. Jarvis and Crossman have played the last two or three minutes. Crossman's played at least the last four minutes. From New Brunswick, Dave Crossman, a rock on the New Brunswick blue line. Here's a chance for St. John. They step out. Number 13, Andrew Langham, trying to get through. Back to the point for Crossman, down for Langham. Back for Crossman. Crossman still's got McHugh set up over here on the left side. Here's McHugh, shoot, scores! The one-timer again for McHugh. And they make no mistake and bury it. And the St. John most wanted right back into it on the power play. McHugh's second of the game, and they're down by one. the ball at center. Black Horse looking to come back. It's O'Brien out there with Escott and Power. Here's a good rush by St. John. All the way down. Paul out front. Ray was out of position but the most wanted just couldn't get a stick on it. Good rush there by the New Brunswick squad. There's a shot long and St. John applying the pressure here right now. Jared Hicks puts one down behind the goal. Shot out front. For Josh McHugh, McHugh couldn't get a stick on it. Away come the Black Horse. Here's Escott. Escott can't get there. Logan Saunders, first to get to it for New Brunswick. Marcus Power fighting for position. Ball comes to the line, but not out. Kept in by Bradley Yetman. Yetman down low, finding O'Brien. O'Brien for Power. Ball comes to the high slot, comes all the way to the line. Connor, Cody Donahue fires it behind the net. Saunders gets to it first, fires it up the board for New Brunswick. Here's Power, back for Yetman. Yetman, winds, fires, misses short side, outside for Power. Power, wrist shot, he had the top corner label on that one. But that one just whistles wide. Saunders knocks it down, Power. Down low, deflected in front. Loose ball, O'Brien going to the net, out front for Power, there's a shot for Donahue. What a sweet feed there from Marcus Power onto the stick of Cody Donahue. New Brunswick, do their best just to fire the ball down the floor and that was some ball movement there by the Black Horse. Troy Reardon, tall to the task, in between the pipes for St. John. From the draw, New Brunswick's. Mackenzie Kierstead fires it around. That's going to get out of the zone. Martell's going to come back and give chase for Newfoundland. Bussy. He's going to put it back for Hedges. Here's Hedges now. Hedges coming out. Hedges, he runs into some trouble. He's going to turn around. Tries to drop it for Martell. Almost turned it over, though. But away comes Martell to Bishop. Bishop. Down for Martell, Reardon coming out of his net, making an acrobatic save there. Danique Martell flying hard to the net for Newfoundland Labrador. Halfway point just about of this second half. 10-11 left to go, 3-2. Newfoundland over New Brunswick. Face off, won by the Black Horse, shot on goal by O'Keefe. Martell's there to grab the rebound. Martell tries to spin away from some trouble. Martell takes a bump behind the net. Nathan Knowles there to help out and get the ball. Here's Noel. Noel spins away and Martell's gonna get called there for tripping. Up end of the player behind the net. The most wanted gonna get an opportunity to go to the power play. Martell was looking to create some separation behind the net, but you got to do it legally. Brunswick on the power play, 9.54 left to go, down by only one. I 
tell you what, we comment about the St. John bench and the talking to the referees, but I gotta give credit. Coach Gordy Kraft is coaching his butt off down there tonight. He is really trying to get every inch out of his most wanted squad here. So I will certainly tip my hat to that gentleman and the staff on the bench. Yetman, Bradley Yetman. He's gonna fire it down the floor. No icing call, Kevin Reed's gonna come back and they're gonna pressure Crossman right away. Reed gets the ball first, Kevin Reed chips it out for Connor Donahue. Donahue trying to knife it back to Reed, Donahue with the ball. Black Horse with possession in the New Brunswick zone, that's one way to kill a penalty. Donahue gonna come east-west now, Donahue's gonna put it all the way back. Newfoundland Black Horse, Powell for Yetman, back to Powell. Powell fires it down the floor and Reed is gonna go in and get it again. Crossman just don't have enough left in the tank here as the Black Horse players just outrunning him to the ball right now. Ball behind the net, Crossman moves it up for Hicks. Here's Jared Hicks. Hicks cross feed pass, that's intercepted though. Danny Wicks picks that one up. Wicks with a shot, that one whistles wide. Nathan Yetman there to try to pick that up. Ball comes up to the line. Kept in momentarily. There's a good second effort there by the New Brunswick player, and we've got some pushing and shoving after the whistle. Not quite sure who they might be calling that one. Look to me like both players went at each other hard. Have to see what the official says. We see a New Brunswick player walking to the box. Looks to be Matt Burns. We see the one of the leaders of the Brunswick team, Jarvis, talking to the official, but it is indeed only Burns going to get the penalty. And so we'll have four on four for the next 47 seconds. And probably lucky for New Brunswick that Danique Martel is in the box because four on four, that's a guy you don't want to give a lot of room to. goaltender. A little equipment problem down there. You can see the official now talking to him. And now we'll have a face-off four on four for 47 seconds here into the last half of this second period. Patrick O'Keefe for Dyke. Here comes Dyke. Dyke moves it over, and that's picked up by Nathan Noel. Noel trying to sidestep the defenseman coming through. Noel back for O'Keefe. O'Keefe into a shooting area. There's a shot right on. Clark Bishop looking for a rebound. Ball's going to come all the way out for Dyke. Dyke wrist shot. Lots of traffic in front. Nathan Noel giving up probably an inch and at least 30 pounds to the defenseman but in a dogfight in front of the net for position. Fifteen seconds left of four on four, then the Newfoundland Labrador squad, Black Horse, will have a, an abbreviated power play for about a minute. Another discussion on the bench with the coach, and I'm starting to wonder, this could be just strategy, trying to slow the game down. He's he's using some defensemen a lot more than others, so probably buy a little time for your troops. If so, once again, full marks to Coach Kraft. That is, as they would say, crafty. Face-off is going to be to the right of Troy Reardon. Power wins the draw back to Yetman. Black Horse has their power play line on the floor in anticipation of Martell coming out of the box. They're throwing it around like it's a power play too, even though they don't have the numerical advantage yet. And now they do as Martell comes out the floor. That should have been an icing call. Scotty Bray coming out of the net, letting the referee know. And you know something, Bray was right there. 
Martell out of the box. Black Horse on the power play. Escott comes up the floor, stops though. Got to gain the line. Now they gain it. Escott under some pressure. Going to put it back down low for Donahue. Donahue for Escott. Escott into the high slot is Zach O'Brien. Down for power. Power back for Escott. Escott the other side for Donahue. Down low for O'Brien. O'Brien steps out. No shot there. Escott and Martell switch positions now. Here's Martell. Martell tries to fire one through. Chance to be cleared down the floor, and it is. And the New Brunswick player, number 41, Scott Fenwick, was about to chase, but he looked up, he saw it was Martell, and he said, why bother? Here comes Danique Martell. He's going to gain the line himself, try to come in. Ball's bent down the floor. Gray thought about coming out of the net, but Andrew Langan's going to get there first for New Brunswick. Langan steps out around. He gets a shot on goal. And the teams are at even strength, 6.39. Left to go here in this hockey game. A real, real good game between two teams here tonight, folks. Face off. One by the most wanted, big drive, whistles over top of the glass. Bray waved at that one. Here's another shot goes to the net, but Bray will reach out and grab that one with the trapper and hold on for the faceoff. Faceoff will switch positions now to Bray's right. This time, Connor Donahue steps in for the faceoff. He's going to line up against Brad Badger. Sorry, that's Matt Burns. Face off, won by the Black Horse. Here's O'Keefe. O'Keefe stops and sets up shop behind the net. O'Keefe gonna step away with it. O'Keefe, long pass looking for Mason Reed. Reed didn't see it though. And that's gonna be a flooring call. And Michael Dyke looking at the lines, the referee saying he didn't think that the New Brunswick player ran for it. But that doesn't matter, it's flooring. Face off now to the left of Scott Bray. Draw one by the Black Horse. Dyke moves along for Reed. Reed's under some pressure right away. He's going to put it back down low for Dyke. Dyke steps out from behind the net. Here comes Dyke for O'Keefe. O'Keefe is going to run it up through the middle himself. O'Keefe to the line. O'Keefe over the line. O'Keefe funnels one to the net. Rebound is there. O'Keefe at best could do a one-handed shot, but Reardon was there to shut the door easily on that one. Just under six minutes remain. One goal hockey game here. One more game left to go here for today at the, this year's Canadian Nationals, and it's a big matchup. It's Team Manitoba going to be tangling with the Brampton Midnight Express from Ontario. Big, big matchup on this schedule right away on day one. Two of the top teams tangling with each other. Connor Donahue stepped out. He had Kevin Reed open in the high slot. Couldn't get it there. Mason Reed down low, chips it up for Donahue. Donahue protecting the ball along the wall, turns it over, and away comes Riley Kraft. Kraft chips it by Powell. Kraft really moves well for a big man for the St. John Most Wanted. Alex Powell does a good job keeping Kraft to the outside, and away comes Donahue. Donahue finds Yetman. Bradley Yetman steps up. Yetman for Kevin Reed. Reed. Tries a little shifty backhand pass. That one's not going to work. Ball's put down the floor, and that's going to be an icing call. No, it's not. As Bray comes out of the net, and Bray is ran into by the New Brunswick player. And that's going to be an interference call. New Brunswick player protesting, saying, hey, the guy's out of the net. I'm trying to get to the ball. And he might have a point. Certainly don't think he meant to run into the Newfoundland goaltender, but hey. 
That's the way it goes. Official Michael Wabi going to make the call there. 5.03 left to go. Black horse, bring the ball up the floor. Hit O'Brien at the line. That was Donahue, sorry. Donahue puts it back for O'Brien. O'Brien now back to the point for Escott. Escott moves it down, going to move it to Donahue on the left side. Cody Donahue for Martell. Martell's shot, that one was labeled for the top corner. Never quite got enough wood on it. Donahue back to the point for Martell. Here's Martell in the slot for O'Brien. O'Brien couldn't get a stick on that one. That ball gets hammered out over the glass. One twenty-five left to go in the power play, and you got to think this is a must penalty kill for the St. John Most Wanted. They don't want to go down by two. Late in this second half, Ray trying to tell his defenseman where he's going to play the ball. Instead, he leaves it behind the net for Cody Donnie. Donnie steps out, going to give it to Danny Martell. Martell, he decides he's going to run it up the floor himself. Here comes Martell. Martell is greased, lightning on the floor out there. Martell back for Donnie, back to Escott on the point. Here comes Escott. Kicks it down low for Power. Power out to O'Brien in the high slot. Pass out for O'Brien again. Can't quite get there. And the most wanted. Clear it down the floor one more time. Newfoundland Black Horse going the whole two minutes with the one unit. Even though they've been sent down the floor a couple of times. Here's Escott. Escott finds Power. Power in alone. Shot. He fired it over the top of the net though. Marcus Power that time. Here's a nice pass by Donahue to Power. Power once again with a glorious opportunity. Couldn't hold on. Back to the point for Martell. Ten seconds remain in the power play. O'Brien in the high slot. Here's O'Brien looking to backhand it to Escott. O'Brien got the ball stuck like glue on his stick. Power behind the net. Looking to get it to O'Brien. Here's Power. Power. Cross feed for Martell. Martell's shot is blocked and it's hammered down the floor. Donahue, first player back to the ball. Blackhorse still not making a line change here. Ball's hammered down the floor. Going to be an icing call. 2.44 left to go. Face off in Blackhorse territory. And the St. John most wanted kill off a big, big penalty. From the draw, face off, blocked there. Nathan Getman with a big shot block. He wore that one. Off the stick of Brad Badger. Badger got every bit of that shot as well. Face off to the left of Bray. Second time in a row to most want to win the draw. Ball gets fired up. Here's O'Keefe. O'Keefe. Moves it over for Dyke. Back for O'Keefe. O'Keefe spins away from a check. He's going to take it behind his own net. O'Keefe outlet pass for Kevin Reed. Reed's under some pressure. St. John, very good position. He put two men on the ball there and forcing the play as soon as the Newfoundland team moves the ball. Off. One by Donahue, back for O'Keefe. O'Keefe to Dyke. Dyke chips it up for Yetman. Yetman was rubbed out of the play a little. 
and Hill comes down and gets the ball. Yevin practically lassoed down low. He still keeps going, though. Most want it, will come away with the ball. St. John, nice long lead pass there. Looking to spray the Matt Morehouse in. Morehouse picks up the ball, but he can't beat Michael Dyke on the boards. Nathan Yetman chips it off the wall, down the floor. Crossman looks at it across the line, but the referee says no to the icing call. Crossman looking for a long pass, finds one in the neutral zone. Chips off Andrew Langan's stick down low. Bradley Yetman picks it up. Yetman, backhand pass. Moves it out, Yetman gets a return feed. Here's Yetman. Yetman to the line, can't get it in. Morehouse looking to chip it up, trying to spring in Matt Burns there. Burns couldn't pick it up. Long dump in by Kevin Reed, goaltender pulled. Finds the empty net, Nathan Knoll down behind the goal. Knoll's up there with Bishop. Knoll to Bishop, Bishop tried to spin around on the backhand for the empty goal. Could not get it. Now away comes St. John. Kept in though at the line momentarily. By the most wanted. Now they get it up. St. John, goaltender pull for the extra attacker. All six on the floor. Most wanted with possession down low. They spin it around. Fans cheering, but the goalie just stopped the easy wraparound. 45 seconds remain. Might be looking to the St. John bench to see a timeout here for sure. We'll be right back. So face off will be to the right of the Newfoundland goaltender Scott Bray. The most wanted. Goaltender pulled. Looking to knock this affair up. Andrew Stewart going to check in for the draw for St. John. Face off. Won by the Black Horse. Black Horse player upended there. And the referee did the old, I think I'm going to call it, but now I'm not. Face off. His arm was on the way up, but he waved it off. An icing call though, gonna go against St. John. That'll bring the face off all the way back into their zone. Donahue, Bishop, and Martell. Coach Moore's gonna elect to take off the speedy Martell for the more defensive-minded Connor Donahue here. Not a bad move. Now, not very often I think I'd say I'm going to take the, one of the best players in the world off and say it's not a bad move, but in this particular case, probably not too bad. St. John win the faceoff. They try the lob pass. They're going to spring a player in. Set play there. Tommy McHugh picked up the ball on the boards. Goaltender pulled once again. Kraft back for McHugh. There's a shot. That one got through. Out to the slot. Comes to the point. Crossman wires in. Donnie. Blocks that one for St. John. There's going to be a penalty call, though. With 11 seconds left, and the New Brunswick squad are going to get a six on four here. With 11 seconds left, as Nathan Knoll slid into the player and upended him. Four faceoff. Big shot blocked there by Connor Donahue on that play. So, oh, face off to the left of Bray. Big, big face off here. Donahue wins it over Johnny Herbs. Donahue with a chance to clear. That'll be the ball game there, folks. The Black Horse hang on. But the St. John Most Wanted, you got to give them full, full 
credit in this hockey game. Great effort by the host team, then they'll only get stronger as the week goes on. Final score in this one, Newfoundland three, New Brunswick two. We'll be back with Manitoba and Ontario coming up at five, TV one. Thank you. 